Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of Techno Minute. In today's episode, we'll be taking a look at the 5 best free apps that you can buy right now for your Mac. Alright, now before we begin, I just want to quickly apologize for not posting videos more frequently. In the future, I'm looking to start creating more content at a faster pace. This being said, let's jump right in. Okay, so the first free app, and probably my favorite one, is called Alfred 3. Alfred is basically a spotlight indexer for your Mac, and it replaces the stock spotlight feature that comes pre-installed. Now what's great about Alfred is its incredible speed and ease of use. You can look up an app, picture, file, or even web page faster than the stock spotlight search. This makes it one of my most used apps on this list. Now, as you've probably noticed, there is a premium version of the app, and it costs about $25. But in my opinion, the free version offers enough functionality and customizability that I don't think you would need to get the premium version. This being said, the premium version does add a few extra features, and if that's something you're interested in, I'll leave the link down in the description below. All right. So the next app is called It's Cal. Now It's Cal is a menu bar program that allows you to see your calendar much faster than you would be able to if you opened up the app. It lies directly in your status bar of your computer and provides quick and easy access to all of your appointments and reminders. You can even create an event right from the app itself. Now it has a few customizable options such as light and dark mode and the style of icon that stays in the bar. Honestly, this is another one of my favorite apps, as it allows me to quickly see my events and meetings for the day, without me having to click on my calendar. Now the third app is called Parcel. Parcel is a shipping and tracking app that allows you to input the tracking number for a particular package. It will bring up the history and even notify you once it's been delivered. What's really cool about this app is that it allows you to create an account and log into the app on your phone. Once this is done, the tracking numbers will sync over seamlessly. Now there is one drawback. With the free version, you can only track three packages at a time. However, this really isn't a big deal, unless you are tracking multiple shipments frequently. Otherwise, the functionality remains the same. Okay, now the fourth app is called Flux, and I'm sure some of you have already heard about this app. However, I was hard pressed not to include it in this list just because of its plain and simple functionality. Flux essentially controls the amount of blue light that is emitted into your eyes. It does so by limiting the blue light hue in your Mac and makes the color of the display warmer. The reason I really like this particular app is it's very useful at night. It allows me to read or browse the web without the fatigue of looking at a blue light late at night. Now what's cool about Flux is that it can take your location and preset the amount of blue light filter based upon the day. You don't have to use this feature, but it's a cool one that's included. Last but certainly not least, the fifth and final app is called Caprin. Now Caprin is a Facebook desktop messenger app, and it allows you to access Facebook Messenger without having to search for it on Google. It looks remarkably similar to a native desktop app, and it operates just as well. There are even a few customizable options, such as dark mode and transparent mode. The app will operate exactly like the web-based version. However, you can also set it to give you native push notifications. For myself, I really appreciate the ease of access and the ability to message my contacts without having to load the web. This just eliminates one extra step from being able to communicate with my friends and family. Well, that seems to be it for this video. If you want to get any of the apps listed in this episode, I'll leave the links to them in the description below. Anyways, if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe for more content, and comment down below. And until next time, peace.